Hey guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and in today's video I'm going to walk you through Google's new keyword planner, how to find profitable keywords, how to build ad groups, and how to find negative keywords and add those in your negative keyword list as well. So this is pretty cool stuff. Stay tuned. I'm going to jump right into it. Okay guys, so as I said before, in this video we're going to go through Google AdWords keyword research, how to do it, how to use the new keyword planner, and how to stay ahead of everybody else. So as you can see, we have a new interface. So for this video, we're going to need two tabs open. We're going to need the keyword planner, which if you don't have, you can simply Google and just do uh, Google search, Google AdWords keyword planner. And make sure that you log in. You need an AdWords account to use, it, to use keyword planner, so make sure you log in with your AdWords account email when you're searching. And you're going to need a Google Sheets tab open where we're going to drop in some, some ad groups and just build them out here. And we're going to do uh, some negative keywords in here. So basically we're going to build out two ad groups and we're going to build out a negative keyword column. So I should probably label that actually. Okay. So first things first, we're going to be building this as a... Uh, AdWords campaign for what our company is, which is white label pay per click services. So, we're going to be trying to find ad groups and keywords for that type of campaign. Let's say, just pretend for now we're building it from scratch, even though we already have one. So, our main term, see white label PPC. We're going to start there. You can see here it's going to give you volume trends, monthly searches. And you have some bid stuff here. Take that with a grain of salt. So basically, our first ad group is going to be for white label PPC keywords. Okay, so we're going to name this ad group white label PPC. And here we go. It's a great one right here. And paste that in our group. Okay, so this way the little AdWords. <clears throat> That's actually going to be another ad group. Remember, you want to keep your ad groups tightly, tightly themed. So any keyword with the words white label AdWords in it, plus whatever modifier is what we're going to drop in here. Let's keep going. This is a good one. And don't discount keywords that only have 10 searches. Because those add up if you have enough of them. And they're really, really targeted. And most people will think they're a waste of time because only 10 searches. But you guys were smarter than that. So, we know better. Right, so that looks like that's it for the white label PPC stuff. SEO, <clears throat> excuse me, generic management. So most of these are going to be a lot of uh, negative keywords. Here's interesting, something interesting. Reseller, so we just don't want SEO. So let's try this keyword. Let's get rid of this one for now. Let's do this one. You could do all these at once, but just break this down more simply. Duh, totally forgot. PPC. What the hell am I doing? PPC, there we go. Here we go. Okay. So here we go. Competition low. Taking that. This is another ad group. So we come over here. That's right. 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 It's going to be another ad group. 
So you guys can kind of see the theme I'm going with here. We're basically just building these out. So these are all generic pay-per-click management services. If we're only going after other agencies or white label keywords, this is stuff we just don't want. So this is all going to go in the negative list as exact match. It has to be exact match. We couldn't do PPC agency or PPC services, just drop it in a negative list as broad or phrase because that would mean any keyword with those word, those modifiers in it, any keyword with PPC services in it would not show. And when people search white label PPC services, which we want, that's like our, our bread and butter right there, that it, our ad would never show for it. So we can't have that. So that's why you got to add those exact match. Let's see if we got any more reseller keywords. Not seeing them in here. Okay. PPC for agencies. Did we grab that one? Do we need one? It's a good one. Ooh, here's a good one that we don't want software and we would phrase match software out because we don't want any keyword that has the word software in it. <clears throat> so Your gold, guys. The more targeted, the better. Hmm. All right. So let's go back. And our second ad group was white label AdWords. Search. Got our main keyword right here. Did we grab white label paper click? Just in case. Yeah, I thought I figured we did. Okay. Here's another great negative. Dashboard, we phrase match negative that. We don't want any keywords with the word dashboard in them. Could do analytics too. We'll leave that for now. SEM. We'll keep SEM, but we're definitely going to do SEO. And in case you haven't, yeah, I've been saying phrase match, but I haven't actually dropped them in like that just so you can see that's what we're doing here Australia Ooh, there's a good one reports nice negative I do report too you never know. Oop. Okay, so basically to find your negatives, what you're going to be doing is just basically putting in what you want as your main keywords and then weeding through and seeing everything that Google should. These are all keywords that Google thinks you want to bid on. Uh, you know, they're just throwing everything they can at us because they want to spend our money. But if we're only going after white label AdWords, we only want keywords in the, under this ad group that have the white label AdWords service company whatever you know what i mean so i'm sure those are keywords we're just not seeing them right here and i'm just not going to dig through all of these at the moment because we'd be here for four hours <laughs> but you kind of get the idea you got to go through you just got to take the time and you got to build out your ad groups even if there's only five keywords or ten keywords that's fine you know the, they're so laser targeted the traffic that's going to come to your landing page is going to be exactly what you're what you're looking for and, and they're going to convert way higher and the same thing with your, your negative keywords. That's how you build them out.
You just gotta keep digging through. So like these are all PPC advertising. These are all PPC agency, call tracker, PPC management. These are all exact match, which it looks like this. Brackets, exact match, negative keywords. So this basically means our white label ads are not going to show when someone searches exactly PPC advertising. If there's no white label in it, we're not showing our ads for it. Because these people are looking for a management company. They're not looking for, they're not, they're not another business who, who's trying to offer pay-per-click services to their clients, which is what we want. They're just looking for someone to run their ads. So we don't want that. All right, so kind of get familiar with this. There's a lot of cool stuff. Check this out. Our plan not working here. Right, let's go back. Oop, here it is. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. It's going to tell you some quick hit statistics. You kind of build out your ad groups, add more keywords, you want to delete it, just remove it, go back to your keyword ideas. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you scroll through, you find your, your low hanging fruit, you find your gold, you build out your Google Sheets, ad groups. So each one of these, remember each one of these columns is an ad group. Except for the name of keywords, obviously. And then we're just going to drop them right in the campaign. So if you want to see how to add these keywords into a campaign, let's jump over to there. It's very simple, obviously. But first, before we do that, you got to do your match types. So what we're going to do is uh, grab these. Mean to do that. Copy those, and we're going to go to a website called where is it? Keyword Wrapper. There it is. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's just AdWordsWrapper.com. So you're going to take our ad group. Of broad match keywords because remember we don't want to run broad match keywords in AdWords. You don't want to do it. It's I'll explain in more advanced videos why you don't want to do it. But for right now, if you're if you're gonna if you're trying to turn a campaign around or you're building your first campaign, just stay away from them. They're gonna kill you. They're gonna just waste all your money. So we're only gonna do exact and phrase to start, and then we're gonna add in modified broad match. I'm gonna show you this right now. So we drop we paste our keywords into keyword wrapper. Hit wrap keywords and it wraps the keywords in the match types you want. So here you got modify broad phrase exact, which is what you eventually you want to have. But for remember, when you're just starting out, just do exact and phrase match just to get some data to optimize. And then you can always expand your campaign with modified broad match. So if you don't know what the different match types are, it's really simple. Just do a quick Google search and just do um, modify broad match, phrase match, exact match. And there's millions of Google help articles of what they are. It's really simple. So if you're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're gonna match types. We're gonna go back into our campaign. Here we go. Overview. We're in our white label campaign. Ad groups. And what was this one again? This was white label PPC. So these are probably already in here. But let's go into it. And we would come back and simply paste. Boom, keywords added. That's literally it. Now if we want to take our negative keywords, grab these. As you can see, we already have our match. Fix this because I know they're going to deny it if I don't fix that. Um, we already have our match types in for these keywords. Grab it. 
yes. Okay. And we're just simply going to go, if you don't, you can do it from here, but we're going to go back, say, let's go back out to your campaign. So you're coming in from overview. You're just going to come down to the keywords tab. You're going to hit negative keywords. See where you got a bunch in here. You hit this plus sign. You want to add them at the campaign level, not ad group campaign. That's our campaign. So you should see your campaign name right here. And we're just going to paste them in and hit save. And that's it. So now we just added those negative keywords. Our ads will never show for any keyword with the word dashboard in it. Reports, report, we can see here career, cheapest, because we don't want people looking for those kind of words. Or someone who just types in Google PPC advertising. And that's really it, guys. And the most important thing. I mean, obviously, we can come in here and add this group. That is another ad group, too, but we're just, for time's sake, we're just not going to do that. But the most important takeaway from this video is how to use the match types correctly, especially with negative keywords. It's very important because if we just phrase matched or just say we didn't even use any match type, we just put broad in like this. If we did that in a negative, Google will never show our ads for any keyword in any type of phrase that's typed where the words PPC advertising are searched which you know white label PPC advertising is what we do so we have to <laughs> you got to make sure you have your match types really good and remember when you're starting your campaign or if you're trying to turn a campaign around just take it back down to the basics just take your ad groups make them tightly themed like these are and do only do exact and phrase match let it run seven days get some data and then you can move from there and if you have to add more keywords you only add in modified broad match don't add broad match keywords it will take so much of your money from you is ridiculous. All right, guys, in the comments, let me know if you guys use broad match keywords. I'm actually curious. Um, we every time we've ever we ever use them or seen somebody use them, they're getting crushed. But I have seen them work before in the health insurance space, but it was very random. But let me know if you guys use them if you're successful with them. I'm, I'm generally curious. And also make sure you like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel. We drop trainings and tutorials like this all the time. And visit our site, myppctraining.com. We have uh, some cool stuff on there as well. So check out the links in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.